Prime Minister of Estonia, Mr. Sanjay Shamrao Dhotre, Minister of State, and my other members of Parliament who are part of the delegation, Mr. Sigrid Harjo, board member of the Enterprise Estonia, leading Estonia business delegation, Mr. Deepak Kapuria from the CAA, leading Indian business delegation, and friends, brothers and sisters, who are all participating in this conference. I am delighted to address the India Estonia Business Forum. I thank uh, the Honorable Prime Minister of Estonia for his esteemed presence here. Our joint participation today is an indication of our mutual desire and commitment to strengthen business ties between both nations. I thank the Enterprise Estonia and Confederation of Indian Industry for partnering in this event and Asocham and FIKI Business Chamber from India for their partnership. I am indeed honored to pay my first official visit to Estonia. My interactions with the President Kazuzaid, Prime Minister Yuri Tarsu, President of Rijikobu N. Polos, and other dignitaries have given me opportunity to review bilateral relations and identify potential areas of engagement for the future. Our relations are cordial and friendly. Our bilateral trade is growing and stands at US dollar 172 million at present. Bilateral investments are however at the nascent level. There is a good scope for enhancing and deepening our engagement across sectors and for enhancing trade and investment in both the directions. In my discussions with the Honorable President and Prime Minister, today we agreed to increase our efforts to strengthen the bilateral business ties. I am accompanied by 19 Indian companies defending different sectors from engineering, telecom, hospitality, fintech and related sector during the business forum today. We encourage them to exchange ideas and proposals and I am happy to hear the report of the discussion they had today. We encourage Indian companies to establish operations in Estonia, taking advantage of the technology and innovation, cyber security and e-governance expertise. I am glad that we will institutionalize cooperation in two important areas of cyber security and e-governance by signing MOUs today. We also encourage Indian companies to consider Estonia as a launch pad for the European Nordic Baltic markets. Estonia's e-residency scheme is a good initiative which has received a positive response in India. Estonia in the three decades after restoration of its independence has become a world leader with respect to several advanced technologies. Estonia has performed extremely well after its integration with the European Union and has Baltic markets. Estonia's e-residency scheme is a good initiative which has received a positive response in our country, India. Estonia in the three decades after restoration of its independence has become a world leader with respect to several advanced technologies. Estonia has performed extremely well after its integration. It recorded stable economic growth. India is today the sixth largest economy. In the coming days, as per the reports of various international agencies, India is likely to become third largest economy. And India has been growing over 7% for several years. The forecast for the future is equally optimistic. India is likely to grow to a $5 trillion the economy by 2025. Indian labor force is expected to touch 160 to 170 million by 2020. Based on this rate of population growth, increased labor force participation, higher education enrollment, among other factors, according to a study by Asocham and um, Thought Arbitrage Research Institute. India is expected to achieve upper middle class income status on the back of this digitization, globalization, favorable democracies, and reforms. India also is focusing on renewable energy to generate energy, planning to achieve 40% of its energy from non-fossil sources by 2030, which is currently 30% and also have plans to increase its renewable energy capacity from 175 gigawatts to by 2022. India is among the countries which has the largest production of energy from renewable energy sources. As of June 30, 2019, India has been installed 
renewable energy capacity of 80.47 gigawatts, of which solar and wind comprises 29.55 gigawatts and 36.31 gigawatts. Biomass production also is there. India offers one of the largest investment opportunities in the renewable space. The government of India allows 100% FDI under the automatic route for projects for renewable power generation and distribution. Our growing large middle class of over 400 million and a vibrant business ecosystem fostered under a stable democratic governance system make India an attractive destination for international trade and business. Our sustained efforts to create a business friendly environment have led to a spectacular jump of 65 places in the World Bank ease of doing business index in the last four years. India has become an IT superpower in the recent decades with more than 53% of our GDP coming from the service sector. Given the historious IT capabilities and the disruptive innovation environment, there is a vast <coughs> potential for building technology partnership between both of our countries in IT, in cyber security, digital services, <coughs> and related domains. I am glad that the Indian startups and uh, the They are, they, are the, they are all, some of them are participating first time in May this year in Tharin. We are committed to respect Mother Earth and have an inclusive, substantial growth. We have set ourselves a target of producing 175 gigawatts and, all, and 100 gigawatts of solar energy. We want growth and environment production to go hand in hand. We have established as the International Solar Alliance an important initiative in this direction. Distinguished delegates, with our focus on strengthening economic and commercial engagement with Europe, we have been organizing the India-Europe 29 Business Forum as an annual business event in coordination with the Indian industry. It's a leading platform for the business community from India and the 29 European countries to meet, discuss and finalize partnership in specific sectors. The fifth edition, i.e. 29 BF, will be held on 20th and 21st November 2019 in New Delhi. We invite Estonia to participate in the India-Europe 29 Business Forum. There are regular trade exhibitions and sector-specific business events in India. We invite Australian companies to keep visiting India frequently to familiarize themselves with the country and the emerging business opportunities. I do hope that this business forum would be a good beginning for an ongoing collaborative partnership between the business of houses of both the countries. I shall be happy for today's dialogue results into tangible investments and the new business ventures that will result in prosperity in both countries. I could see during my celebration the last three days with a tremendous uh, enthusiasm and interest among the people of all the three Baltic countries with regard to Indian culture, Mahatma Gandhi, Indian cinema, Indian cuisine and also Indian business. I hope that today's uh, this interaction between both the business forums will accelerate the trade between both the countries and also that we will be able to come closer on other sectors including culture, heritage, education, IT, IT enabled services and other sectors. I thank all those who made this event possible. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai Hind.